Uh, good morning, everybody. This is Randy with Real Fast Custom Bait, maybe a fisherman. <clears throat> oh, I'm tired. It's four in the morning here. So it definitely has been a long time since I have posted any videos. But today is going to be an interesting day. We got a head-to-head -to -head tournament today against a guy in Montana fishing um, uh, on turning eights. Come on, dogs. Let's go in the house. Come on. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be an interesting day. I got the uh, kayaks and stuff ready. It is kind of dark in this video, but we're going to get it done today. Um, a lot of footage is going to be coming today. I'll be recording the whole entire time, making sure I get some good coverage, man. But, hey, I am back. I'll be posting videos pretty regularly now, so stay tuned. Peace. All right, so I, I am definitely here. I would say maybe a little late, but it looks really good out here. But you look to the left hand side and boom, you know. So I think I'm gonna have to wait it out for about a good, maybe 15 minutes here or maybe an hour and we'll see. But we're gonna fish today, man. Stay tuned. I just showed up to the lake. Again, this lake here is relatively small, but uh, it holds a decent amount of fish, man. Uh, one of the good things about this place is it's actually more of a recreational fishing place. There's no, uh, I don't think you can put big boats in here. Let's see. Motor boats prohibited on Butler Lake 7 and Moth Lake. Yeah, so you can't have any uh, motorized boats, man. Uh, as considered as in gas of course you can use a trolling motor but that's definitely high road trolling motor all day so again this is the size of the lake you can pretty much see the end of it right there um and this is the milwaukee river so the river runs through on that northern northern side and also through that southern uh i guess that's the southern side right there and that's more of like a northwest right there and i believe that there is north so uh again i'm competing against this guy named curtis man so the video actually will be posted on uh, my Facebook, Real Fast Custom Bait, and Angler vs. Angler Fishing, man. We about to get out here and slay these fish, man. So stay tuned. So today I'm just gonna show you uh, a real quick um, look at my kayak before I actually get on this lake, man. Again, the weather is pretty, I mean, it's in between good and shitty. You know, we got a lot of bad stuff going on over there. Look like it's clear that way, and the sun is starting to come out that way right there. But real quickly, I'm gonna get into this kayak. So I got a feel free lower 11 and a half here. Everything is pretty much standard except for my trolling motor here. So my trolling motor is pretty much based off through this pod here that comes with the kayak. And I got you know a standard fish finder that's a Lawrence hook 25X, I believe. Just regular down scan, no side image or nothing like that. Everything in the back is pretty much standard. You got your um, your uh, crate, couple um, uh, tackle boxes here. More importantly, you got some cheeses, and I got all my soft packs in here. And again, if you don't know, uh, I am the man behind Real Fast Custom Bait. So if you want to get any of these lures, please hit me up in the comment section below. And again, everything is pretty much basic. We're also running a M Outdoor lithium battery this is a 60 amp battery and it lasts probably a good seven to eight hours depending on how bad you beat it i like to beat the crap out of it but if you're you know going pretty slow throughout the day maybe keeping your trolling motor on one or two you can get easily 10 11 hours out of it and moving down to the uh, rod holder here so this is a gatlin rod holder here man one of the game changers for me actually fishing i'm able to actually spin this thing around through 60. So right now it does look like it's far in the back, but when I'm able, ready to actually get a rod or something like that, I just take it and I easily spin it around and boom, we're all set. So while the weather looks pretty nice right now, it just changed within a matter of sec seconds, man. So we're gonna get out here and catch some fish. So stay tuned. All right, so considering I am fishing in the tournament today, I literally, we're just trying to take a little break and wait for this weather to pass and I just caught a bass. So unfortunately I cannot use this fish to measure it because I caught it from land 
and not for my kayak so we're gonna let this bad girl go man this this could be a, a nice little fish to put on there it's look like a 14 and a half 15 inch bass but hey we're gonna catch some more though all right oh Get in here, girl. Ugh. <laughs> hey, first fish of the day, baby. <laughs> oh man. Hey, that's 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 a beautiful fish there. <laughs> we'll see how big this one is. Hey, she choked that ripple stick too, man. Yeah, I'm using um, I'm actually using a June bug color here. I can get this fish out of here. The hook out of his mouth. Oh. Hey man, that was a fun fight. Hey, so so what I'm fishing right now, uh, it can be a little bit misleading, but I'm fishing a uh, you know my spin cast on eight pound um, Invisex. So sometimes those small fish feel so big, man. So when I first moved to Wisconsin, I struggled extremely bad with uh, just finesse fishing, man. Coming from Florida, you're just used to power fishing, man, with for big bass. And up here, it's a little bit different. So I just found it a little bit more easy to fish eight pound test you know light tackle and it, it just it, it pretty much helped me a lot and that's one of the reasons why i created the ripple stick <laughs> curtis got one oh All right, but no, that's that's pretty much it, man. Just, you know, really staying, you know, into and forcing myself to finesse fish because, you know, fishing this, you know, eight pound test, I'm not gonna really be flipping because if I'm flipping, I'm looking for a major set hook set. So I like to get this uh, eight pound seagull out here, which I love, haven't had a break off yet. I mean, other than me not tying it uh, for the winter. I mean, retying all my line after winter, but yeah, I just, just eight pounds for me man and I honestly I fish this more than anything so we gonna we gonna get get this girl measured here oh <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, I think my uh, my um, Nico hook, I mean, lit weight came out of it. Hey, Curtis, let me ask you a question. This may sound weird, but here in Wisconsin, it's a lot of lakes that don't have any structure. And I would say majority of... Oh, I think I'm getting to a good area here. Uh, oh. Fish on. Ooh. This one nice. Ah! Hey, the, hey, that ripple stick come in today, baby. <laughs> wow. That one, see, so again, this one here may be about 16, but again, fishing that smaller pound test is, it makes it for a little fun fight. Fish number two, baby. Let's get this thing measured. Man, it's crazy because when I when I first got here, the uh, I saw a lot of carp jumping around and 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 I'm thinking maybe those are bass, but nah. I kept seeing the carp and I'm like, okay, let me just throw over here just in case. And then literally, probably like a 15 inch, just half a foot out of the water trying to eat my lure. Didn't catch it though, but. I think I could possibly double back. Oh. Okay, I can see one bass chasing these minnows. Should be hitting about right about there. right here.
That was a bass over here. Nope. Could be a turtle. Sometimes they at least release oxygen. So uh, a quick recap. So today was actually pretty awesome. Um, I'm I'm assuming I beat my guy that I was competing against in this ABA uh, fishing uh, series. So basically, what it is is you fish head to head against one person in a kayak, and y'all just duke it out, man, and you know win or take all. But yeah, um, I ended up catching a 21 inch walleye today, which is my first awesome day, man. But hey. I am going to definitely keep these videos rolling, so stay tuned for some good stuff coming up in the future. Peace!